Yo, what's good everyone? So today's video I'm gonna be showing you guys how to well basically how I keep on getting high ranks on Fortnite Mobile. So basically, um it's gonna be broken down into sections. The first section is ways you can rank up. So like the I'm gonna start off with caches. So let's get on to that. Hope you guys like this video, like and subscribe and hopefully this before this video comes out or when this video comes out I hit 500 subscribers big milestone for me I'll I'm um, hopefully we can hit 1k next but I'll see you guys um I don't know whenever I hit champion so um here's ways to rank up for the first section all right see you guys Oh yeah, this is basically, I'm just going to be talking over the gameplay, so I don't think there's going to be any sound. Maybe like a little bit of sound and a little bit of music. But basically, it's just a tutorial video. So, you guys don't have to focus on the gameplay that much. Just what I say and all that. So, yeah, that's really it. Alright, here are some ways you can get percentage during the match. So basically, there's two two ways and or three ways... I basically know so the first way is caches so if you don't know what caches are they spawn around the map like somewhere between like between the match so they're like little capsules I'll put an image up right now I don't really have a tips and tricks on how to actually claim it or like a good way to do it just basically build boxes around it the, uh, doesn't matter how many just just make sure surround it and the only way for you to claim the percentage is it has to be the one that's designated to you so the one the game shows up for you if it's someone else's you don't get any percentage you just get the items so that's all I gotta say about this one I'll just show you the rest of the gameplay of me ca getting the cash and we'll go on to the next um, way to get percentage Alright, so my next one is my next way that you're gonna get percentage is go for the watchtowers slash um I don't really know what they're really called but I'll just call them watchtowers. So do that. I'll just show show you gameplay of them or a screenshot right now. So yeah, um one of the places are located right beside Reckless Railways Railway Railways. That's where I go. So basically, what I do is I don't land in reckless low weight or railways because I probably will die. So what I do is I land pretty far away. Then whenever it spawns, I can't. I basically camp basically until the bo the boss is spawned. Then I try and kill the boss. Try and be there first, or else you're basically gonna get third party because it's ranked that people want the percentage too. And then fourth party and then fifth party because they want the kills. They don't really they don't really care about the um the points that the uh that the locate that the uh, the whole thing gives you basically. So try and do it quick and smooth. And basically that's really it. On to the next the like the final that I know of way of getting points. So you know close to the end game. And you know that big island that spawns? That's what I'm talking about. I know, I know, some of you guys are really skeptical, skeptical about this. Because how contested it is all the time. But you guys are probably lower ranks. It's probably not that contested. Go for it. It'll give you 15%, which I know. So that's an easy 15%. So that's real that's really it. Um what you're gonna wanna do once you get up there is go straight for the circle area, build in metal or brick. That's I'm telling you metal or brick. And that's a then it's a free capture. 
if someone tries and goes after you what you're gonna want to do is um like since you're building you don't want to build one hut up there like build a bunch of boxes so once they try and break in what you're gonna want to do is constantly like try and outplay them you guys may not be good at editing and all that but you guys will probably come out um winning that because unless they don't have shockwaves if they have shockwaves then it's gonna ruin your plan so that's all i really gotta say about the island um those are the three ways that i know that that i mainly know of getting free um percentage without kills now it's on to how i now it's on to now it's on to how i play like how i play on my matches so um time to tell you guys all right so i can't show too many of these clips so since they're gonna be upcoming video but here are some rank clips of and i'm just gonna break them down a bit of like what i do so yeah what you see from this clip is technically yes i'm, I'm just gonna say it like um basically what you're gonna really want to do is like land mostly mo if you want to you can land at like name POYs but usually I land close to name POYs but not inside the name period POYs like most of the times if I'm feeling confident or not so basically what I did is I landed close to the close to the POY but not too close so now I'm running to it I bet you're wondering, hey, why did I run past the POI? Uh, so basically, um, what I'm going for right now is the recon tower. And to see if anyone's inside that place, I first built up, checked, noticed that no one's there. And now I'm going to it to loot up more since I have no shield. So yeah. So now that I'm looted up, I'm literally just gonna stay here until the the uh, um the watchtower boots up and the boss spawns. As you can see here, as I'm waiting, some guy has the same idea as me. I'm guessing because he enters in, and I'll just show you. So yeah, he had no idea I was here, um, basically, I bet he's thinking I'm camping, but uh, just to show that I wasn't really camping, I just had to leave just in case there's a third party, and I don't, I, yeah, so, as you can see, it spawns now, so I'm going for it, and I can't remember if someone's here, or if I do get him, yeah, you see, I get him, not that hard, just kill all basically don't go after all of them that's just spending ammo on time just go after the main one grab your items and go go like just literally just leave yeah now what you're gonna want to do is basically survive to top 10 or kills if you want to so what I usually do is I stick with one kill one or two kills per game and then wait out to top 10 after top 10 then I start battling again so that's it for the rank gameplay and I and I'll show you more more of this gameplay in the actual ranked video 
I just want to break this down like real quickly so you see me hanging out waiting for someone to fight the boss and you can see that a whole new fight starts before me I play patiently wait for them to get close to me then I third party in don't instantly third party in and get mixed up between them two and then end up dying just wait for a perfect moment as you can see here All in all, I'm gonna say that was a perfect play right there. Just waited for the perfect moment at third party, and I, I kind of like literally have to leave after this. But so, yeah. So all I gotta say is, basically, after you hit elite and you're confident in not being able to like win one v ones and all that, basically, I'll advise you guys is to either if you want to stop playing ranked or if you want to i won't say camp like the whole entire time but usually literally just camp so unless you're a good fighter as percep wolf or not wolf i mean roll in all them just literally just camp you guys